So while the protest was going on, people are protesting against hunger. I will tell you for free that some set of people have actually come out in Lagos and they are protest demanding relocation of Igbo from Lagos. This is very, very sad. At this particular point of time, where people are dying of hunger, people who are crying of hunger, some sets of people have come out to start saying that the Igbo should um, relocate from Lagos. So before I go into the details and explanation concerning what Atiku actually have to say concerning this, I want you to watch this video that I'm about to play for you. Watch this video and after watching this video, come back for the details and explanation I have for you. So take your time and watch this video and come back for the details and explanation. We enjoin all Igbos of all extractions, stakeholders, residents, traders, captains of industries not to join in the protest. Lagos State is a Yoruba land and Ndigo, who are residents here, have contributed immensely to its uh, development, so cannot be used. So I want to give this opportunity to my brothers in the press to make it clear that Ndibo are legitimate gentlemen and women and youth doing their legal and legitimate business. We cannot leave our Far East, come down to Lagos to do protests or to start destroying things. That thing that they are pointing at these figures is totally wrong. Is something that we don't know anything about. So we want you, the press people, to send this message very clean and clear that people are not part of the planning. We are not part of the execution. We are innocent. Everybody knows that things are very expensive in Nigeria today. I want to call on the president to restore the first subsidy. Bring down the dollar from where it is to at least 300 to 500. I can assure you the commodity of this country, the commodity will crash. By the reason I'm becoming the banditry and kidnapping in the southeast will be drastically dropped. Please take the message to all our brothers and sisters in Lagos to please do not be a victim of the protest. We don't need, we don't need any of us to lose their lives, their properties in Lagos. And you people know that we are the business people here. If you all actually watch that video, and this is what Atiku actually have to say. Because Atiku is actually disappointed right now in the current mentality of some Nigeria. So, former presidential candidate of the People Democratic Party in the 2023 general election, Atiku Abubakar, has expressed deep concern over a protest call demanding the forced relocation of Igbo people from Lagos and other southeast states. So, in a statement on his verified Twitter angle, Atiku Abubakar emphasized that such a move is troubling and fundamentally opposed to the principle of the unity and coexistence in Nigeria. So why people are protesting that let there be peace in Nigeria, let hunger reduce, let food price reduce, let cost of living in Nigeria be affordable. Some people are still going on to say that they should remove and push away all evils from lagos this is very very bad it is a very very bad mentality so article call on the nigerian government and relevant security authority to take immediate action against those inciting hatred and division he stated the recent call he stated this written call on his um, twitter account for a protest under the hashtag Ebo must go why people were dropping hashtag concerning the current issue of um, Nigeria, which is Ash and bad governance in Nigeria. This is the people have carried out another hashtag, which is Ash Ibo must go. We are fighting each other and how do we expect things to turn around in Nigeria all of a sudden? It's very, very, it's very, very alarming. 
So the um the recent call for for article in his um verified Twitter angle for a protest under the hashtag Igbo must go, demanding the forced relocation of Igbo people from Lagos and other southwest states is deeply troubling and fundamentally opposed to the principle of unity and coexistence that defined our nation. Such rhetoric is not only advised but also endangers our peace and security. As our constitution guarantees every Nigerian the right to live and work freely anywhere in the country. Atiku Abubakar alerted the danger of allowing hatred and bigotry to first start, re referring the tragic event in Rwanda. So history has shown us that consequences of allowing hatred and bigotry to first start are seen in Rwanda. What began with inflammatory rhetoric led to devastating outcome. We must learn from the lesson and act well. Atiku Abubakar stated it outrightly. So, I want you to watch these videos of the protests right now. I want you to watch this video of the protests going on in Lagos. Watch the video and after watching this video, I want to share your opinion in the comment section. Have a great day ahead. Bye. Before I go, you never seen this kind of thing before. Turubu, I must abuse you. Turubu, number one.
we use the quotas to decimate the economic activity and the life of Nigeria. What we intend to do, what we intend to do with quotas, is to improve the life of Nigeria. From the picture we got, that's what the agent was doing. So, but there's a, there seems to be an equilibrium now. They are making their demand, the government is addressing them. We are also here to make our demand that the government start to hasten the reform policy while we uh, enjoy Nigeria to also do what needs to by engaging the government by asking us the question in a manner that will not disturb the peace of Nigeria. My name is Azar Kulukoba.